Hey, Dad. I know I probably don't say this enough, but I love you. Every new TV season sees those shows that you know are going to do well, the ones that you know are DOA, the ones that you just can't figure out if they work or not, and the ones that surprise you. And then there are the ones that are just all over the shop, and you wonder, why were they ever given the green light? Which is a polite way of introducing CBS's October 1st debuting Wisdom of the Crowd and ABC's October 3rd premiering Kevin Probably Saves the World. Next week is the one year anniversary of my daughter Mia's death. More accurately, her murder. They caught and convicted a former addict named Carlos Ochoa. The only problem is this. I think they got the wrong guy. More evidence would emerge if a platform existed for it to come forward. I have created that platform. Reminiscent of a number of failed series over the last year in concept and execution, the Jeremy Piven, Monica Potter, and Richard T. Jones-led crowd is an extremely untimely exercise in mob rule under the veneer of real-time crowdsourced crime solving. Entourage alum Piven, who actually really deserves better than this, plays a tech big shot whose daughter is murdered and decides to abandon the justice system and cash it all in with an app called Sophie. It ain't no Cantonetti's crowd and power, to put it mildly. What the drama is, is a way to toss privacy, presumption of innocence, and a whole lot more of the Constitution to the curb and splatter another one of those ugly, mean-spirited shows like 2015 Stalker on the small screen. Kevin, you've been chosen to save the world. I'm here to guide and protect you. This is so weird. As for the recasted and renamed Jason Ritter and Kimberly Herbert Gregory ABC show, well, there are meteors hitting the Earth. Some sort of spiritual, and yes, believe it or not, world-saving quest that Ritter's almost suicidal and certainly selfish Kevin Finn character is tasked with by Gregory's kind of angel as the last of the 36 righteous humans who keep the planet humming along. And yes, there are a lot of good deeds performed. Beyond that, at least from what I've seen, this flip-the-script Candide Tin show lacks any narrative nutritional value and mainly serves to reinforce just how good Touched by an Angel was when it aim was aiming high and how deep the spiritual quest of a very different sort that foxes The Exorcist, which is one of my fave shows of 2016 and is back on Friday for an excellent Pacific Northwest-based season two, dives into Can Be. Can you hear me? I'm here to help you. So, if you want a spiritual journey that isn't so saccharine it could give you small screen diabetes, watch The Return of the Exorcist, not Kevin Probably Saves the World. If you want mob rule from a distance, well, the internet can give you that almost any day. But I say instead, crank up the Black Sabbath tune of the same name instead. It has substance.